Nikon are on a roll with their firmware updates. So today we're gonna to show you how to update the Z9 firmware and then what it's actually doing. And if you can update Z9 firmware, then you can update any firmware on any Nikon Z mirrorless camera. So just using the same method as we're gonna show you in this video. Before you get started, the first thing you're gonna need is a formatted memory card, ideally, and a fully charged battery. Then you go to Nikon website. So if you're in the United States, you go to your local one. In UK, we go to UK website. And then you find service and support section. In, on the Nikon UK website, it's a help and support. And then we're gonna choose support over there. And then on that page, we're gonna choose download updates. Whether you're selecting the USA, UK, or any other website, it's gonna take you to the same page, which is the download center. And from there, you wanna pick your camera. We're updating a mirrorless camera. So we're gonna click on mirrorless cameras, Z series, and then choose Z9 in this case. Or there's a search bar right above this. So if you type in the model of your camera, it should take you straight to that page as well. Once you're on the product page, you can download your manuals or supplementary firmware update guides, etc. But you want to click on the tab that says firmware, and then you want to pick the latest firmware version. Ooh, firmware version 4.10 came out just yesterday. So we're going to click on view download page and it will get us straight there. Now, if you see something written in red, maybe it's worth reading it because red means important. Once you're happy with that, then Let's have a look at firmware changes. So in this case, firmware 4.10 added birds and airplanes to AF subject detection options. It's a fantastic update for you wildlife and bird shooters, so I'm sure you're gonna enjoy that. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page, click the accept and user license agreement as you do it nowadays, and then click download button to download the firmware. Now you're ready to insert your formatted memory card into your card reader and then plug it straight into your computer. And don't forget, so if you're on a Windows, obviously choose the Windows version. And if you're on Mac OS, then choose Mac OS. Now, when you download a Windows version, it will come in a zip file and you will have to unzip that file and actually access the dot bin file. If you're downloading it on a Mac, it actually downloads the bin file for you automatically without having to unzip anything. All we need to do is find our files. Normally it's somewhere in downloads folder. Now we have a memory card connected. So we're gonna drag that Z9 firmware file straight into the root directory of your memory card. Root directory means it's the first thing you see when you open the memory card. So once it's there, all we have to do now is eject the memory card and then put it into your camera. Once the memory card is inside the camera, we have to hit the menu button on the back of the camera to go into the menus, find the icon with the range, which is a setup menu, and scroll all the way down to the last setting in the setup menu, which is called firmware version. Once on the firmware, click OK. Because we have an update file on the memory card, there's an update line here, which we can click OK, and it will ask us if you would like to update our current firmware to a new firmware. So we're gonna hit OK on this. It gives us a warning sign. It just tells us not to turn off the camera for any reasons while the uh, status bias keep going. So just leave it be, even if it takes longer than you think it should, just leave it be, it's gonna complete the firmware and it should be totally fine. The process to update Z cameras is essentially the same, very simple. So any Z camera you have can be updated using these methods. If you have a DSLR, however, it may be a little bit more complicated. If you have a recent camera, so the camera was produced in about the last, let's say, seven to eight years or so, it's highly likely that it will come as one file. So let's say camera like D500, you'll have D500 update.bin, you drop to the memory card, put it into the camera, and you update it the same way as you would do a Z camera. However, if you have some older cameras, for example, like D300, then the firmware for this camera would come in two parts, part A and part B. The process of updating this firmware is basically the same, but you have to do it every time for firmware A and firmware B as well. So you drop the A file first, you update the firmware on your D300, 
then you format the memory card, put the firmware B into the memory card and update the firmware B on the camera. So it's a two-step process instead of one, but it's essentially the same thing. And that's how you update the firmware on your camera. If you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe, as well as hit that soup things button. If you'd like us to do more educational videos like this, definitely put your suggestion down in the comment box. Thank you.